the impact that transportation has on people's lives is boiled down to freedom. Freedom of movement. Freedom and access. I'm Susani, I'm the CEO and co-founder at Dollaride. I came up with the idea for Dollaride because I actually took dollar vans every day. Dollar Van started in the late 80s when we had a series of MTA strikes and entrepreneurial drivers started using their own vans and multi-passenger vehicles. And that became the roots of the dollar van phenomenon in New York City. New York needs dollar vans because all around the city, particularly in areas of Brooklyn, Queens, and the Bronx, we have very limited access to public transportation. In these disadvantaged communities, people rely on dollar vans because that's their form of mobility. Dollar Ride started out as an app that connected local residents with dollar van drivers but we're in this process of creating a software that helps drivers build and grow their businesses through Dollar Ride's platform. So, the first one, Flatbush. I always plan for electric dollar vans, but I didn't think that we'd be able to enable this future so quickly. Yo, I got good news. In fact, I got great news. Dollar Ride won a $10 million grant to electrify dollar vans and fundamentally revolutionize the service, making it more accessible to people all around New York. It was definitely an oh shit moment. <laughs> You know, it was like, oh shit, the game is on. This is now real. Let's let's go get it. I've been driving Dollar Van now for over 30 years. I love it. I like being self-employed. Give me more freedom. And most of the drivers are very hesitant about electric vehicle coming into the industry. I was a little suspicious about it because, again, when you do 30 years of this driving a vehicle, which is gas, a lot of negative things will come into your head when you're not used to something and you don't know it's new to you. The electrification process has been difficult. We aren't electrification experts. So we've had to learn as quickly as possible in a short amount of time how to actually convert a fleet to an electric fleet. Taji, we have to hit these milestones. Meeting Urban X gave us another opportunity to level up. Urban X was the expert in climate tech and projects that are in the built environment. So we were able to lean on their expertise to go from a software-based business to one that incorporates real things. A big savior was actually finding and partnering with Lightning E-Motors. Good morning. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the Colorado. Welcome to Lightning E-Motors. So the coolant overflow is... Wow. Hit one. <laughs> like this? It's right under. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I can actually, we can put that into the battery box. Yep, yeah. That's right. Drivers today don't have storage space, period. Just that alone, just yeah. the storage space, that yeah. changes the kind of business you can run. Can I, can I touch it? <laughs> <laughs> it's real. <laughs> what do you think that to mean for the drivers? Oh, man. I mean, game changer for them, especially on, on a day-to-day -day basis, a smoother ride, saving them time, gas, money, resources, and basically giving a better experience. What's next is literally the rubber hitting the road. 
So now the first set of vans are in New York. This is a, a big moment for us because it represents the next transformation of Dollaride. You know, we're gonna be testing things out to either create our own fleet or help drivers obtain their own fleets. No matter where we go or how the company changes over time, we always focus on the drivers and the fleet owners and I think by doing that, we'll always be successful. It's a good sound system. I'm very surprised by how it drives. It drives nice and smooth. Electric vehicle, I figure, is the future. Cuts down pollution, noise pollution, air pollution. Dollar Ride is going to be a very big plus in the community. The drivers have figured out how to survive with very, very little. But when I look at what they've done, I'm incredibly proud and impressed, and it just makes me so optimistic about what is possible here. Dollar vans are on the cusp of something great. If we get this next stage right, dollar vans are gonna create an example for the world to follow when it comes to how to create sustainable, informal transportation. <laughs>